Hey everyone, thank you so much for reading my article on sugar addiction. Just wondering, did anything surprise you in that um, article? Were you all on the sugar addiction train and maybe now you're starting to think, hmm, just maybe it's not a real thing. Maybe there's some other reasons behind it. I know I was, and I know I would encourage you to be careful as a health and exercise professional to make sure that you're doing your research. So when you see these big headlines that come out, it's so easy to get wrapped up in them. So I really encourage you, before you just go with the headlines and the news, really do your own investigation. Find the original research, really dig into it. If you're not comfortable about interpreting research, find someone that is that can help you with that. Because it really is so important that we are giving our clients accurate information. And there's often another side to the story. So on top of that, I just wanted to also touch base with you because chances are you're gonna have clients who swear that they are addicted to sugar. There's no question about it. Doesn't matter what information you give them. So what I would encourage you to do with them is to just kind of take a step back, ask them to do the same, and take a holistic look at different things that they may be experiencing in their life. So for starters, are they dieting? Because if they're dieting, or even if they're not on a formal diet, but they are in that diet mentality where they're, they're not allowing themselves to eat certain foods, they're, they're in that deprivation mindset, that can really set you up for craving the foods that you're depriving yourself of, right? Well, we've kind of mentioned that in the article. So that deprivation mindset, um, maybe they are eating a lot of simple carbohydrates that sends their blood sugar up and then crashing and does that constantly up and down cycle. That also, all of these things can sort of send them, you know, the term hangry, right? So uh, what that hangry, when you're truly in that hangry state, it's probably because your blood sugar is really low. And so your brain is just like, we need something. We need some energy. And that tends to be the simple carbs because that is quick energy. Um, so really investigate, are they eating frequently enough? Um, all these things can send that blood sugar down. And then it's just simple biology. They just, their bodies like just give us something quick for, for energy. So that's a really simple one, but really kind of investigate, have them be honest with you um, about that in, in the frequency of eating. Are they depriving themselves of food? Um, are they just eating a lot of simple carbohydrates? That's just, you know, their blood sugar is just up and down and up and down. Also um, investigate into their sleep not only how much sleep, but the quality of sleep. Because when we're not getting enough quality sleep, that again, it kind of sends our body into wanting that quick energy because we're tired. Um, and so the energy gives us, um, makes us less tired, right? So, and also stress. So are they, and I actually love, instead of managing stress, are they mastering their stress? Are they... Are they using stress management techniques? Yes, but also are they getting to the root of the problem of the stress so that it's not a chronic long-term stressor anymore? Um, and lastly, has it just become a habit for them reaching for the sugar? You know, a lot of times after we've eaten dinner, I know for me, I equate like if I've had something spicy to eat, I want chocolate after, right? So <clears throat> it's just, it can be a normal, again, a normal thing. It just might be simply a habit that they've gotten into. And so sort of investigate these other areas because there probably is a reason behind why they feel like they're craving that sugar. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, would love to hear any comments. If you have any questions, comment below. And I hope that you are all doing well and I will see you again soon. Thank you.